a very good morning to all looking at important headlines from the hindu newspaper for third may on the front page you have decide on modi amit shah hate speeches by may 6 supreme court tells election commission so the congress has alleged that the election commission was not applying rules uniformly so the prime minister narendra modi in his speech in varanasi had said on april 25 even after the election commission had uh, advised political parties not to refer to defense forces armed forces he said they martyred 40 of our soldiers in pulwama and now we have killed 42 terrorists this is our way of working and uh, this is regarding amit shah in maharashtra he said rahul was contesting in such a place where it was impossible to say when a procession is taken out whether it is procession in india or pakistan so such uh, other speeches which they have given so it it is like you know so this is what uh, congress is alleging that they are violating model code of conduct and this is orisha evacuates over 11 lakh so this is regarding extremely severe funny cyclone which hit the orisha coast with with 180 km wind speed 180 km per hour then this is supreme court to hear petition to debar rahul from polls so this is regarding the supreme court uh, hearing a plea to direct the election commission to debar congress president rahul gandhi from contesting lok sabha elections and becoming an mp after he voluntarily acquired british nationality on page 5 you have isro plans to land a rover on lunar south pole so this is isro chief sandosh tiwan who says that uh, chandrayaan 2 the second moon mission will be historic for the scientific community as the country space agency will attempt to land a rover on lunar south pole a region on the moon to which no one has gone till now also here you have power utility websites hacked in two states so this is uh, power utility websites of uh, power distribution companies from uh, telangana and andhra pradesh which were hacked and it is said five crore was reportedly demanded for unblocking the site this has said that it has it uh, has um, said to have uncovered a major data breach here and below you have registration of all motor vehicles stopped so the issuing of certificate of registration rc certificate for all classes of motor vehicles has been blocked in the country for not integrating high security registration plates with the wahan database so nic has blocked access to the transport mission mode projects pan india application wahan for vehicle registration on a directive of union ministry of road transport and highways so you know, so that is uh, the decision being taken so you know, there is a need to uh, integrate the registration with the wahan database so that is highlighted here on the editorial page you have a global label so this is regarding masood azhar who has been listed as a global terrorist now so it this indicate the editorial says that india must work to ensure the mandated sanctions that they are in place and second editorial is lost lives so this is regarding the maoist challenge both are front page news of yesterday so the death of 15 security personnel in a landmine attack in gadchiroli so that is another reminder of the the continued failure of indian government to crush nationalism the lead article don't give in to polarization so this is regarding sri lanka how the challenge here is now to turn national mourning into a call for coexistence and democracy and not division within the society and this is the gender ladder to socio economic transformation so this says that more than more jobs approach addressing structural issues which keep women away, away from workforce is must so 50% of the population you can say you know is not employed or if not 50 then at least 30 to 40% of the population is completely not employed because they are women so bringing in women in the workforce is one of the structural issues which can be addressed to you know for socio economic transformation then on friday you have this parle coverage so today the question is is india doing enough to combat climate change so then there are views counter views given on this that is very important 
Then on page ten below you have this coverage. Did China abandon its all weather friend? That is Pakistan. So this is the news analysis here. It says that absence of reference to Masood Azhar's role in Kashmir violence was the point because of which Beijing agreed to to remove its hold. Then on international page here you have a leak that caused the British Defence Secretary his job. So this is regarding the British government decision to give Huawei 5G contract was leaked out. So that leak caused the British Defence Secretary his job. So Huawei has also been prominently in news with respect to security concerns and concerns that it's not a not a Chinese private company but linked to the Chinese government and should not be given you know access to 5G infrastructure across the globe. So many countries have. You know, exempted it from, uh, uh, rather excluded it from the bidding process for 5G, including Australia, New Zealand, USA, etc. Then on business page again, you have manufacturing PMI dips to 51.8 in April. So slower growth growth in orders has hit output. So the, oh, it is above 50% means there is expansion in the economy. It is lower than last month. That is in March it was 52.6. And below you have banks can declare defaulting ILFS accounts as NPS. So this is what NCLAT, National Company Law Appellate Tribunal, has said. But then it says that lenders can't initiate recovery and debit money now. And below you have central banks step up gold buying in 2019. So this is World Gold Council, which says the diversification and desire for safe liquid assets are the main drivers for purchase of gold. By say central banks across the globe, and on the last page you have microbots are on their way to practical applications. So these microbots, devices about the size of a cell, promise to be useful in fields as diverse as new neurobiology and phone communication. So that is it. These are the important headlines. For detailed coverage of current affairs, you can visit our website asia.com. Thank you.